Hi folks, just a quickie. Um, I just wanted to show you all a little passion of mine. I got a few spare pounds and bought this Sasha baby. This is an original 70s one, I think. I got my Sasha doll, which was identical to this, apart from he had brown eyes when I was maybe four or five from my godfather's first wife who worked in a, an exclusive toy shop and in, in Bangor in Northern Ireland obviously and mine's arms never worked and somewhere that was the only doll that remains from my childhood I did have a tiny tears and one called April Showers the April Showers got showered once and went missing the tiny tears maybe lasted a few months but wasn't particularly interested but the Sasha remained and my Sasha only had this shoe which was his right shoe and it was broken a wee bit so I got this one for a steal of a deal I've been on the look for one from Shell saw fit to enable me there's a few wee loose threads his clothes have been washed now this one came with a bow sorry about the uh, veiny hands Something to do with blood pressure, I'm sure. Um, this one, these are the original clothes. These are the ones that mine had. And apart from, this one has uh, green eyebrows. Apparently these were all individually painted. And they were to have passive faces. They're a fascinating story. But I think my Sasha now looks grinchy. My original Sasha didn't have this. I suppose it was taken off before giving it to a small child. Mine had the nightshirt thing that they all came in. This says made in England. And I think this says Gots, but my uh, my uh, eyeglass is up the stairs. I must remove that wee thread. Of course I had to wash his clothes and so on, but I did it very gently. And his little shoes. So my original one I gave to my niece, who's also my goddaughter. My sister only has one daughter my brother has a daughter in America and she loves dolls I got her, her first reborn so on the way back I, I gave her to her while she was here a few years ago now this was and it was the ember sculpt and uh, on the way back my brother got stopped several times and asked why his daughter was being so rough with the baby and that's still her favourite doll, but she's got several Ashton Drakes now, and um, she got one of the Blythes that I won last week, so or a few weeks ago. So, this one, I don't think Erin has any, my goddaughter niece, has any interest in Sasha, but it's a, a keepsake, so hopefully she'll hand it down to her own children or some children that are important to her. When I gave Erin mine, I had never any idea that I would have a girl in my life. And this one I'm going to enjoy, but I bought this so that I can pass it on to Layla. If she has any interest, I also, this week I've started a collection of, I'm going to have her one day a week from January. Um, and I've started a, a baby or a, a toy collection so figures her daddy loved figures and he had all the figures from every series he watched on TV which was the turtles he-man all sorts so we got Bluey Layla and I are very much into Bluey I've just left her not that long ago so we got Bluey and her dad Bingo and Bluey is an Australian cult and if you haven't watched it you should because it's absolutely hysterical and then some Toy Story my son particularly that one is very much into his figures and still has 36 loves Disney loves still loves figures all of his now of course are pristine and in the box but the last time he was at Disneyland which was maybe two or three years ago he bought yet another Buzz Lightyear. So I've got all the mini ones for Layla, mini wheelies or something they're called. 
So I just wanted to show Shell my Sasha doll. More enabling Shell, beautifully done. Well, this string's really annoying me. But imagine getting hold of one with the... It just so happened that if I hadn't spent the few pounds that it cost me to buy this doll, Well, firstly, I couldn't sleep the first night I didn't buy it. And secondly, I had to have it. And I could. And sometimes you have to do things, though you shouldn't, just because you can. So, I'm a happy girl. And I had him with me today. As I've explained, he came with a bow. This one's, they had girls with girl bodies, front bottoms. And this one's an unsexed one, which mine original one was too. So mine was a boy, for whatever reason. <laughs> I was only ever interested in boy babies. It's only Alita last year and now Mila this year that have me interested in girls, but probably because, because of my Layla, who's the center of my universe. But those little faces are just so cute. And this is not doing it any justice. If you ever get your ch a chance to get your hands on one of these, and I mean, you can get them for a relatively cheap on eBay. You can pay hundreds and probably thousands for them, but I mean, look at that, the quality of that. And that was, I think it was less than 50 pounds. And these little shoes are just to die for with the little press studs. Just while I'm here, I want to show you my rocking horse. This is a, a resin beast. It looks like wood, but uh, this was a birthday present from my littlest son. Uh, so he's very proudly on the hearth, but he's also very useful to display Sasha on. Anyway, folks, that's a very long video and I didn't mean to do it, but um, from the most relaxing uh, day of my week, Good evening. Speak to you soon. Bye now.